sound in the background there. Good morning, everybody. And it is actual early morning on a day. I feel like I'm really small in this corner here. I can't change it. I can't be bothered to change it. Um, turn off the sound on here. Welcome. Good morning. Where are you in the world? Is this morning for you? Is this middle of the night for you? Is this a lovely evening in Australia for you? Let me know where you are. How are you all feeling about the Women's Prize for Fiction shortlist being arranged? I can't believe how small I am in the corner. <laughs> Should I bring it further in? It does look a bit silly. I'll bring you further in. We're trying to do this so that, oh, excuse me, so that David can continue to get ready whilst, um, well, <laughs> no, we still need to go a little bit higher. David can continue to get ready whilst... Oh, oh you are moving I it. know. <laughs> moving it live. I know. I, I didn't realise that. Right, let's put that in there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I mean, it's still an absolute wonk, but that's better. 28 of you at half past seven on a Wednesday morning. Bloody hell, welcome. I'm going to be getting ready for work while this is happening. Um, so there'll be some makeup going on. I've already cleansed and moisturised, um, so don't worry. So who have we got? We've got Texas, United States, popping in the, from the middle of Canada. It's 1.17 a.m. Oh, my God. Uh, Charlotte, morning. Morning, Armin. Morning, Sarah. Morning, everyone. Here we are, eagerly awaiting the Women's Prize for Fiction shortlist. So whilst we eagerly await it, I thought I would just, I've, I've got to do my makeup as this happens, otherwise it's never happening. So I made a predictions video that went up yesterday um, and I predicted Demon Copperhead I'm a fan, which I've only just started. So Demon Copperhead and I'm a fan are two that I'm reading at the moment. The Marriage Portrait, Trespasses, Memphis and Wandering Souls will be on the shortlist. That's my prediction videos. Hello, Rachel from Dublin. Um, they're my predictions. And then on Instagram, you may well have taken part in this. I asked people to give me um, their favourite books from the, from, the shortlist, uh, from the long list. And I collated who I thought would be in the in the short list off the back of that. Good morning from Germany. So the marriage portrait got 50 votes. That was the top one. Uh, then we had trespasses with 17. Then we had wandering souls with 12. Then we had the bandit queens with 10. Oh, sorry. Then we had demon copperhead with 10. Then we had the bandit queen. No. Then we had ba demon copperhead with 11. And then we had the bandit queens with 10. And then we had three. And I didn't put three on Instagram. I only put four, uh, two on Instagram with seven. The ones with seven votes were I'm a fan, Stone Blind and Memphis. Um, for some reason, I only put the Memphis had two votes. It didn't. It had seven. Hi from Australia. Um, Tom's, Tom hasn't read any of the long list, but he's in. Morning from Croatia. Hello. So that means that our sort of like predictions based on what we've enjoyed the most would be Marriage Portrait, Wandering Souls, uh, I'm a Fan, Stone Blind, Demon Copperhead, Trespasses, Bandit Queens and Memphis. So, yeah. I wonder if any of those meet the long list. I don't want, well, I haven't read Glory, Black Butterflies and Children of Paradise. So, what, what will happen is, is that if, um, I mean, Glory's gone back to the library now, so I won't be able to read that now. But if any of those three make the long, the shortlist, by the way, Glory received no votes when I, I did the vote. Um, I will read them. If I don't, if, if they don't make the shortlist, I probably won't read them, which is, I mean, a lot of people said they enjoyed Children of Paradise. That got six votes. Um, but yeah, I probably won't get around to reading them. So there we go. Those are the plans for the reading. We've got nine minutes. I've got it open on, I've got the Women's Prize for Fiction open on my uh, website, open on my laptop. I've got the, my emails open because apparently they're going to email me with the stuff first thing. Now live on my channel. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, so tell me, what would you guys like to see on the shortlist? Is there anything you're really, really keen to see? 
anything you can sum up about the long list in in like a few words just because we're about to go into it in about less than 10 minutes time what I will say is that I didn't love this long list in fact I only loved one of the books I loved the marriage portrait I liked really liked but didn't love wandering souls and trespasses but apart from that everything else was a bit meh now I've read the first page of I'm a fan I really enjoyed it we're reading it for Patreon book club this weekend but I didn't love it um so yeah in general and there was a few things on there that I was like what is this here he comes the man with my tea do you want to say hello who do you think is going to be on the women's prize um shortlist David um I think Edith Blyton e Edith Blyton whatever her name is do you I'm mean sorry. Enid Blyton yeah who's dead <laughs> yeah. And hasn't released a book in the last year. No. And has she been cancelled? Um, well, some of her books are very, let's say, oh, God. traditional. Right. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, okay. What about Roald Dahl? No, it has to be a woman. And he's also dead. Um, Can you name one current women's author? Yes. Go on Janice then. Hallett. Janice Hallett. Well done. Well done. Yeah. But she hasn't been long listed or even, yeah, short listed. Oh. Well, well done. That's sad. Well, well done. Well, you've, you've, you've done what you set out to do, and that was name a women's or a current women's author. So, well done. Um, yeah, so I haven't been swept off my feet, let's say, by the long list. And there's nothing on there that I'm thinking, well, apart from the marriage portrait, which I really enjoyed, there's nothing on there I'm thinking, oh, bloody hell, I really hope that makes it. But, I mean, the marriage portrait's going to have great success whether it makes it to the shortlist or not. Maggie O'Farrell's already won the women's prize so I mean great if she wins it again but she doesn't need to win it again so yeah there's nothing I mean Wandering Souls I'd probably like to see, I would really like to see on there because I think it's a very important book with a very important message um and sort of educated me a lot as well on stuff that I had no idea about so yeah but do let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're hoping to see on there anything you think we'll see on there hello Philippa oh, I'm gonna run with you that's my running noise. Um, morning, Kiki. I can't believe how many, there's 80 of you. This, well, I mean, I know it's not morning for all of you, but thanks so much for joining me. Getting ready for work. Maybe you should come with, maybe I should do this every morning and you can get ready for me. No, normally it's a lot, lot earlier than this. I don't start work till late on a Wednesday because I go to choir. Look at those little feet in the background. <laughs> uh, they're being announced at half past seven, green, blue. Um, so, that will be happening then. So I believe there's a little bit of a time delay. Um, so you may well see them. If you're if you're looking elsewhere like I am, you may well see them before they get announced on here. I think it's only a, it's sort of like 12 second time delay. There's 91 of you. Bloody hell, guys. Bloody hell. Right. Okay, that's that done. Now we move on to the eyes. So just to be... Oh, please don't have smashed. Please don't have smashed. No, they're fine. Um, so just to reiterate, my predictions are that Demon Copperhead, I'm a Fan, The Marriage Portrait, Trespasses, Memphis and Wandering Souls will be on the um, on the shortlist. Now, I'm aware as this is a live show and some people might be watching this in the future, um, normally I put up pictures of the books that I'm talking about. I can't do that because it's a live show. So I'm going to keep repeating the title as much as I can um, when I'm talking about the books, when they get announced, just so that people are like, what book are they talking about? So I'm going to try and keep repeating them as often as possible. Bloody hell, there's 99 of you. Do you think we'll get to 100? Do you think 100,000? That's always a joke that I like to do when we're doing um, live shows. What colour do I want to put on my eyes today? I'm wearing cowboy, but 101. We're at 101. Um, it's like Christmas Day morning, says Emily. Morning from London. Haven't read anything from the long list, but waiting for Demon Copperhead. I agree, Dawn. Um, and the marriage portrait to come in paperback and payday. Yeah, my sister is desperate to read the marriage portrait, but it's so cumbersome in hardback and so expensive. Um, there's an amazing Waterstones edition as well. Um, it's almost 2.30 in my part of America. Excited to watch you until I fall asleep. I'd be really happy with your list if you add in Black Butterflies. Uh, yeah, I haven't read Black Butterflies, Sarah, so I need to, um, I need to, well, if it, if it appears on the on the long list, on the short list, God, I get so confused saying long list and short list. If it appears on the short list, then sure, I'll be reading it. If not, it won't be, ha it won't be going on straight away. I won't be reading it straight away. God, you are close, aren't you? God, you are close. Right, let's put some makeup on. We've still got four minutes. Morning, Dan. 110 of you. 
You're all so sweet turning up to help me get ready for work. Very sweet indeed. Uh, morning for Edinburgh. I just finished The Bandit Queens last night. Favourite from the list so far. I've also read Stone Blind and I'm a fan. Um, the Bandit Queens I thought was okay. I, when I first started reading it, I was like, well, this is going to be five stars. Um, and it sort of petered off in the middle for me. Stone Blind, I think I'm just not a a Greek, a, 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 like a, a myth ret retelling person. I just don't seem to get on with them. And I'm a fan, I've only read the first page of, but I do see, I've enjoyed what I've read so far, but I'm gonna be picking that up because I finished Little Princess last night, which was adorable. Um, so I'm gonna be picking up I'm a fan from now on and getting that finished by Sunday. I mean, it'll be well finished by Sunday. And then I'll start on whichever one I haven't got. So the only one I haven't got is Glory because it had to go back to the library. So if that gets shortlisted, I'll probably end up getting that out because there's a big long waiting list for it. And I was, I had it and didn't get around to reading it in the three weeks that I had it. I'll probably get around, I'll probably get that on audio. But yeah, it didn't receive any votes when I asked for, when I asked people what they thought would be on the long list. And um, it, it's satire and it doesn't, doesn't scream at me something I'm going to be into. Morning, Amelia. Morning, Charlie. Morning, Linda. Morning, Rebecca. Morning, Kaz. Bandit Queens is also Kaz's favourite, and she's from Edinburgh. The same as Jane, who's band who whose favourite was Bandit Queens, who is also from Edinburgh. Morning, Eleanor. God, we're on one hundred and thirty-five of us. How sweet that this is all happening before we go to work. As I'm doing my eyebrows. Morning, Anna. Morning, Grant. Morning, Catherine. Morning, AA from Saudi Arabia. I would love Children of Paradise to make the list, but I have a feeling it won't, says Jennifer Widdicombe. Yeah, Children of Paradise is one that I, if it doesn't make the list, I think I, I think I probably will still get around to reading it. However, I've got it out from the library at the moment, so that means I've only got three weeks, well, less than three weeks, because it was three weeks when I got it. I think that was on Friday. Morning, Colette. Um, but it's set in the film industry, isn't it? And I always want to read things that are set in the film industry, because... My husband, David, who's currently got his ear pods in and probably isn't even listening. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that there's a book that could make the long list, uh, short list that's about f film, I think. Cool. And I was thinking, because I haven't read it yet, and I was thinking if it doesn't make the short list, I won't read it, but I sort of feel like I would like to. Okay. For you, David. Okay. Right. She's going to attempt some liquid eyeliner for the first time in... For the first time in forever. Not in forever, but for, in, for in a long time. Which is probably a bit of a, a, a silly thing to do because Wednesday is a long day because it's also a quiet day. Can she find her bloody liquid eyeliner? Is that it? Yes. Um, Anna's rooting for um, Bandit Queens. Grumpy Books. Loved Marriage Portrait, but I'm not sure if Maggie really needs another win. I almost just said the same sort of thing, you know. I was saying, like, obviously, that, that was my favourite book on the list, um, but she won it in 2020. Does she need another win? I mean, it's always going to help, isn't it? But it's a bloody brilliant book, and I'll shout about it. It's one of the best books I've read this year so far. 100, right, OK, we're at half past seven. Let's see if I've had the email. Let's see if it's on the website. No, it's still the long list on the website. I haven't had the email. The annoying thing is I can't check on my phone because you're on my phone. Haven't had the email. Okay, I'm gonna Google it as well. No, still not out anywhere. Anyone, had, anyone found it? I mean, it's 31 now. Oh, oh. No, that's the long list. Come on. Oh, here we go, I've got it. Announcing the women's prize for, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. wow, this is a shocker. Right, well, there's a few shockers on there and there's a few not shockers. Okay, so here we go. On the shortlist of the Women's Prize for Fiction are, as predicted, Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver, The Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell, Trespasses by Louise Kennedy, and then three that I, ha well, that I didn't predict, Fire Rush by Jacqueline Crooks, Pod by Leyline Paul, which I DNF'd, 
and Black Butterflies, which I haven't read, by Priscilla Morris. So I'll just go over them again. That's Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. Where's my pen? Um, the Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell. Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. Fire Rush by Jacqueline Crooks. Pod by Leyline Paul. And Black Butterflies by Priscilla Morris. So here we go. I'm going to put a little mark next to him so I can talk all the way through. Marriage Portrait. Trespasses. Delighted for Trespasses. Fire Rush. Pod. And Black Butterflies. That's such a shame that... The Wandering Souls didn't make it. Right, okay. I've written them all down. I'm back in here. So here we go. People are, I wish, a pod, what? Please not pod. Surprised by pod. Surprising this. Delighted for Louise Kennedy. Not surprised about Dima Copperhead and Marriage Portrait. I had expected Wandering Souls or I'm a fan on there. Yep, yeah, I had too. Uh, that's definitely a couple of surprises. I loved, th I've read, oh, sorry. Three I loved, two not read, one hated. So for me, I've read one, two, three, four, four of them one i dnf'd pod and one i haven't read black butterflies which i'll go to once i finished i'm a fan because i'm going to read i'm a fan anyway for the um book club where shall i do my eyeliner <laughs> but yeah so well let's talk halfway through it then so um gutted no memphis not what people were predicted no not at all shocked i'm a fan isn't there yeah i'm shocked i'm a fan isn't there holly what's it saying not pod i'm excited to get my hands on demon copperhead and happy about the marriage portrait yeah i'm very happy about the marriage portrait okay so let's work our way through so demon copperhead one minute while i put my eyeliner on and then we'll be back well that was one So look, Pod seems so divisive. Lena Norms loved it in compared to the overstory, but lots of others DNF'd like you. Pod, I pushed through reading it. I really didn't enjoy it. Give Fire Rush another try, says Grant. Yeah, I listened to it on audio um, at the time when David's dad was in hospital and there was a lot going on. So maybe I didn't give it the dedicated time that it deserved. But um, yeah, I, again, I thought it was fine and I've forgotten a, a lot about it, which is quite telling, but also it's quite telling of the time, I suppose. Like it was... Um, it was a very busy time. Right, other eye, and then we'll go, and then we'll work our way through these books. So keep chipping in with your comments, and we're going to work our way through the books once I've done this eyeliner. Eyeliner complete. Lovely stuff. Right, okay, so let's work our way through then. So let's start with Demon Copperhead um, by Barbara Kingsolver, previous winner of the Women's Prize with the book Lacuna, which I haven't read. Um, I am listening to this book at the moment. I'm... It's very strange. It's a long, long book. I'm listening to the audiobook. It's... Oh, no, look. It's 23 hours, and at some points, I feel really immersed, really into it, really involved with the characters. I'm really enjoying it. But other times there's a complete dis distance I have with it and I'm not even sure what's going on. So it's a real sort of hit and miss. Sometimes it feels like I remember reading The Goldfinch. Um, also, if you've watched my Women's Prize long list chat video, you, some of these comments will get repeated. But obviously I want to hear your thoughts on Demon Copperhead as well. So let's work our way through that way. Um, it, yeah, like sometimes I'm really immersed in the life of uh, Demon but sometimes I'm not. And um, sometimes I'm like, oh God, I've drifted whilst that whole thing's been going on and I'm not quite sure. Also, I haven't read David Copperfield. So if anyone here has read David Copperfield and Demon Copperhead, could you please tell me if there are vast similarities? Because I've gone into this not having read it and found it okay. Guys, I think Demon Copperhead is going to win the Women's Prize. I thought it when, oh, when the long list got announced. It's just very... I don't know. I've just got a feeling. I can't really describe it, but I've just got a feeling. Right, okay. Let's see what people are saying. I hate Diver Fan, so I'm not surprised it didn't make the shortlist. I'm on I'm one happy bunny about black butterflies. I was thinking that trespasses just wasn't for me. I didn't know why I should have cared about the barrister, but I may be if I knew more about the troubles, I'd like it. Four out of six of my wish list made it. Gutted about wandering cells, but I'm happy for trespasses as I adored, adored it. Um Leanne's agreeing with Charlie. Uh, also thrilled to see black butterflies. Might take might take me the day to get over wandering cells not being there. I waited on Fire Rush specifically on the audio. Um, 
Grumpy Books has given us some stats. Pod has a 3.57 with only about 400 weight ratings on Demon on Goodreads. Demon Copper had a 4.35 with 96 ratings on that Goodreads. That's helpful, thank you. I'm waiting for my next Audible credit to get Fire Rush, which is the only one I haven't read that I'm excited about. Um, Demon Copperhead is a great book, but I'd rather a lesser known author wins. I really wish anything but Demon Copperhead wins. Interesting. I was warned off trespasses, so now I have to get back into it. Have you seen the David Copperfield film? I think you'd love it. I haven't. I haven't seen anything to do with David Copperfield. Anything at all. I didn't have Demon. It was just too grim, but I agree. I think it will win. It gives out major prize vibes, and it's been a while since she won, whereas Maggie won quite recently. I knew Demon Copperhead would make the list, so I waited to read it because it's so long. I loved Marriage Portrait and Trespasses. Looking forward to Black Butterflies and Fire Rush even more now. Cool. Right, so those are thoughts on... Um, demon copperhead so i'm finding it fine i think it will win i don't know if there's any more than that to say about it next up the marriage portrait um by maggie o'farrell now this is the only book on the long list that i loved but i did really love it i, I am a maggie o'farrell fan although saying that i didn't love hamlet as much as others did hamlet won the women's prize for fiction in 2020 um which was a retelling of um, Shakespeare's um, son and and wife's lives. I thought that was fine. This I loved. I really, really loved the timelines of it. It's about um, a girl called Lucrezia who's been set up into a marriage with Alfonso. Alfonso, is that his name? Um, and it's split into two timelines. Her sort of as a child growing up, getting to know her backstory, her education, her parents falling in love. Um, and then uh, a current timeline, current as in, because it, <laughs> it's not current, it's set in like 15 something, of her um, knowing that her husband is going to murder her and the build up to that. And I think it's so expertly done. The cat, like, I really, really, really fell in love with Lucrezia. Um, and it's so like the, the flipping between the timelines, it's got that sort of thriller vibe in terms of like you get to the end of a chapter where we're hearing about like what's happened now in the bits where she's going to get murdered and then you flip back to the stuff of her growing up or and, and that's really interesting too but you're like oh fuck I really want to get back to the bit that's where she's where, where she's like gone to this rural house in the middle of nowhere and she thinks her husband's gonna kill her like it's really 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 good I really had a great time with it um I couldn't put it down and I'm so pleased I gave it a second try because I tried reading it last year in September and um I didn't get on with it at all. I was, I found it boring, but this time, oh my God, I loved it. Yeah, and I'm I'm waiting for it to come. It doesn't come out in paperback. It's my sister's birthday in May, and I was like, oh great, I'm going to get that for her for her birthday. Paperback doesn't come out until July, so we've got a while yet, but yeah, would highly, highly recommend um, one of my favourite books I've read this year and the only book on the long list that I loved. So let's have a look. Um, Jessica says, if you can find anywhere the BBC adaptation of David Copperfield with a baby Daniel Radcliffe is very good. Oh, good. I will try that. Um, really excited to read The Marriage Portrait. It's another one I waited to read because I was so sure it would make the shortlist. I think Marriage Portrait was a lot better than Hamnet, which I thought was a bit sappy. Haven't read The Marriage Portrait as my online library don't have it and it's too expensive. Hopefully it will be Kindle Daily Deal. Yeah, hopefully it is expensive. Also, Waterstones have the most amazing, beautiful hardback copy. But I mean, I'm going off hardbacks more and more. <laughs> I like a paperback these days. Um, just ordered the Waterstones exclusive hardcover because I love the marriage portrait so much. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really want to read the marriage portrait. I get to choose my book club book this month and I'm choosing the marriage portrait. It'll be a great discussion book. It really will. You'll have a great time with it. Um, hey, Lauren, um, this live just popped up. It's 2.37 here in Charlotte, North Carolina and my 49th birthday. Happy birthday, Kiki. Um, I hope the marriage portrait wins. Kind of want to read the marriage portrait, but it's so massive and I do almost all my reading on my commute. Has anyone tried the audio? I have not tried the audio. If anyone here has tried the audio, please let Jenny know so that she can decide whether or not it's worth it. But yeah, I had a great time with the marriage portrait. Right, on to the next one then. Oh, audio is great, says Tori. Where's my lovely orange lipstick? Okay, cool. So the next one we've got then is another one that I liked. Like I said, there was two that I liked on the long list. Um, one that I loved and one of the two that I liked was um, Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. Set with the background of the Troubles, we're following Louise, um, who works as a teacher in a, a quite a deprived area, um, and uh, she also works in a bar, helping out her um, her brother in the bar. Uh, she's got problems with her mum, who's an alcoholic. Oh, David, you wouldn't turn that on, would you? Mm. I'll turn it on. That's you can do it. He's a good boy, isn't he? Um, her mother, who's an alcoholic, she's having an affair. Um, 
And yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, it was very sort of ordinary. So you're following like people's ordinary lives and it's like a little peep in the window of people's ordinary lives, um, which was interesting. I feel like I should have washed my hair last night, but hey, we'll just we'll just do what we can with it. Um, yeah, peak of ordinary lives, but like in extraordinary circumstances. So, um, but I really like the writing style of this. I also, I think this is quite telling that I actually read this in a day as well, which is, um, doesn't always happen for me. I'm much of a spreader outer -er, but um, yeah, I really, I, I thought this was good. I thought this was good. So let me know your thoughts on Trespasses if you've read it. Um, I read this during the Irish Readathon as well. So did I read this during the Irish Readathon? Towards the end of the Irish Readathon, I think, because um, I read it in Ma May when the Irish Readathon was happening. Right, she's going to tie her hair back for the day. Or oh, can she get away with it? No, this need this bit needs tying back. Scusi, get a hairband. Lovely. Yeah. So thoughts on trespasses, if you have any, before we move on to. So those were three that I predicted. Um, and I don't know if I've ever predicted um, three on the shortlist before. And when we did the vote on Instagram, that was predicted as well. Uh, Charlie saying I loved Kushler and Little Davy. Yeah, Kushler's the, the main, the main, um, the main woman in the story. And Little Davy is a, a little a lad that she helps out. Um, but yeah, it's very, it's very like, it's got some really troubling um, stuff that happens in it, as did during times of the troubles. Um, but I very much enjoyed it. I enjoyed the tone of it all. Hmm. She's not happy with that. Okay. Jennifer saying, I just started Trespasses. Really easy to read, enjoying it so far. That's good. Yeah, I found it, um, yeah, an, e an easy, yeah, like a, a, a pleasure to read, I think. Even though it wasn't sort of like pleasurable what was going on in it, I found it a pleasure to read. Linda saying, love Trespasses, very compelling. I grew up during those troubles. And I thought it was really well portrayed. Well, that's great to hear, Linda. Also love that it's a debut and she's an older writer. Yeah, I think so. I think we've got great things to expect from Louise Kennedy. <sighs> there we go. Put some earrings in, why not? Okay, cool. Well, let's move on to the three that I hadn't predicted then. So um, the first one is Fire Rush by Jacqueline Crooks. Um, again, if you saw my um, <coughs> long list chat and shortlist predictions video, you'll see that I listened to the audiobook of um, Fire Rush. Now, I enjoyed Fire Rush. Um, no, that's not true. I, I enjoyed the audio performance of Fire Rush. It was performed by Leonie Scott, who plays Lucille in Call the Midwife. It involved singing, it involved music. It was, it was a really good performance. But I can't say I remember all that much about the actual book itself or the what what it was what the plot was and stuff like that now that may be coinciding with the fact that David's dad was very very poorly in hospital at the moment and I tend to have a a habit of when bad things are happening they don't stay in my brain all that well so it might be that that's why that was going on but I remember being like not quite sure what was going on a lot of the time but still very much enjoying the performance which is unusual for me very unusual but from what I remember it's about a young woman called Yumei who is in a new relationship, um, a young black woman called Yumei, who's in a new relationship with a black guy who um, is in a conflict with um, some police officers and ends up getting killed. And it's her search for sort of justice for her partner, um, her search for her identity um, because she has sort of like fractious relationships with her family um, and her search for her family as well. So searching I guess in there but it's also sort of got this backdrop of like um music and dance halls and stuff something like that yeah I thought it was okay I enjoyed the performance much more than I enjoyed the book I mean maybe I do remember it a little bit more but yeah I'm surprised to see it there I am surprised to see it there uh let's have a look <clears throat> Jenny says I loved uh, Trespasses it was my brother's pick for me for Christmas no one ever buys me books except him and he studies book lists to find a good one I haven't read Jenny, that is adorable. Um, Ellen says, Trespasses is my favourite from the whole long list, so delighted to see it. Even more compelling for me because my parents grew up during the Troubles. Our Edinburgh Book, our Edinburgh book Club read Trespasses. I did like it. Nice flow, however. Last month we read Swimming in the Dark and I was blown away. Good morning, says Cartoon. Jennifer says, I have this but not read it. That's um, Fire Rush. Surprised it's on the list as I haven't heard much raving about it. Me neither. 
um, uh, swimming in the dark was too early. Uh, Karen Cat says, I really enjoyed trespasses. I could really immerse myself in it. I could picture her in that hallway waiting for the telephone to ring. Yeah, absolutely. It was very evocative, wasn't it? So yeah, so I've just finished talking about um, Fire Rush by Jacqueline Crooks. Let me know your thoughts on it. I, I, I imagine a lot of people haven't read it because it hasn't been as well, sort of, well, well marketed maybe, or like haven't seen it about as much. I hadn't heard anything about it um, until it appeared on the long list. And I haven't heard much about it, even though it has been on the long list. So yeah, let me know if anyone here has read um, Fire Rush, because I'd be interested to see. I think David's going to get in the shower now. Is yeah, that true, David? Yeah, I'm going to the toilet first. He's going to the toilet. He's having a little potter around. He won't go to the toilet in there. Don't worry, he'll go to the toilet in the other toilet. You won't have to sit there and listen to him go to the toilet. Right, okay, so that was um, Fire Rush. But yeah, if you've got any more... Oh, so Fire Rush, it looks like it only just came out in the US last week. So uh, Ellen said Fire Rush was also a light, but didn't love for me, admired the distinctive narrative voice. Um, yeah. That's thoughts on Fire Rush. Okay, so next up are two that I haven't read. One that I started reading and I DNF'd. It's a bit, it's really annoying me. I need to put a bit more. When I look in that mirror, I haven't got any, but there it looks like I've got um, mascara under my eye. Um, as an American, I'm just glad these shortlisted books are easy to get to as I haven't read three of them. Oh, good. I'm glad they're accessible for people. Right, okay. So next up is Pod by Leyline Paul. Um, I DNF this. I DNF this last Friday. In fact, if you've watched my my Friday, I feel like I've made that bloody worse. If you watch my Friday reading blog, you'll see me live DNF it. So I read twenty eight pages of this and then decided it wasn't for me. I won't be revisiting it, so um, this will remain um, unread. On my, there's just two other books. There's just too many books rather than going back to a book that I've decided to DNF. Um, I read Leyline Paul's other book, The Bees, which has been previously shortlisted in 2015 um, about uh, about bees and anthropomorphised bees. And the problem I had there was that the bees weren't anthropomorph... that they weren't... they didn't have enough personality for me. It was very much... yeah, I felt I felt cold reading it. I felt cold. Um, so going into pod, I was unsure whether or not I would like it. There was definitely more personality here in the dolphins than I than I'd got when I'd read the bees. Um, but the writing style itself, I couldn't connect to. And then I recorded um, an episode of the Bookcast Club, um, which I think my episode's out this Friday, by the way, where I'm talking about cookbooks, exciting. Um, and Sarah was saying that they just recorded an episode of it and I had it, but I hadn't listened to it, where they talked about the, beat, uh, the about pod. Um, and she said, I'm not sure you'll like it. Now, somebody else had said to me, I'm not sure you're gonna like this. And you guys, you know me quite well now. So, like, you're going to know what sort of, like, I'm into and what I'm not into. Um, and I thought, I'm going to listen to that episode of the pod. Because I'm, I'm not somebody who um, who cares about spoilers that much. Um, so I was like, I can listen to this and not worry about the spoilers. And um, if by the end of it I decide not to read it, then that's that's decided. Now, at the point of page 28, I hadn't got to any sexual assault, but apparently this book is absolutely brimming with sexual assault. Um, so that's another reason I'm glad I've given up on it. But I don't know, I found the writing very sort of like whimsical and mm, like, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Um, and I'm surprised it's been um, shortlisted. Let's have a look and see what people think. Um, I can't handle the animal cruelty, so I'm not sure I can read Pod. I DNF the bees last year, so I didn't pick up Pod. Pod seems very divisive, doesn't really appeal to me, but if I see it in the library, I might give it a go. I also DNF'd Pod, and I'm not interested in going back to a big, it's a big nopity nope. Um, Tori says, I know you didn't like it, but I enjoyed the bees, so I actually, I've actually been excited about this one, but I haven't read it yet. Oh, good. Also, the American cover is much more intriguing than the US. Um, if you think you didn't like the first 28 pages, I don't think you'd like the rest. The amount of sexual assault was just no thank you. Um, I can't take the title pod seriously because it reminds me of the programme Shag, Marry, Avoid I watched as a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about that programme. Um, Freya says, thanks for the warning about pod, think I'll skip it. Jennifer says, I could see what Leyline Paul was doing with pod, but now I know way too much about dolphin sex. So this has got um, perspectives from um, not just dolphins, also whales, also humans, I think. Um but yeah, it's not for me. It's also, from what I understand, got quite, because 
Leyline started following me on Instagram recently, which made this decision to give up on the book a bit more difficult because she's very much been um, screenshotting reviews and posting them on her Instagram stories. Um, and a few of those reviews I've, I've seen have said, like, I'm not... Um, I can't say I enjoyed the book, but the message has been very important. The message has been very important. I've seen a few of those. So I imagine the message here is very important. Um, but I don't think I'm prepared to put myself through over 200 pages of sexual assault, sexual assault, sexual assault and writing that I'm just not connecting with. So that's that. But keep on going if you've got any more thoughts about pod. We're now on to the last one, which is one I haven't read. I do have it. Um, it's Black Butterflies. I'm going to have to get the blurb up for Black Butterflies because I can't remember. By Priscilla Morris. So here we go. Black Butterflies. Let me read the blurb from the website so that we can learn together. But I'm interested to um, to hear people's thoughts if they've read it. Right. Set in Sarajevo in spring 1992. Each night, nationalist gangs erect barricades, splitting the diverse city into ethnic enclaves. Each morning, the residents, whether Muslim, Croat or Serb, push the makeshift barriers aside. Zora, an artist and teacher, is focused on her family, her students, her studio in the old town. But when violence finally spills over, she sees that she must send her husband and elderly mother to safety with her daughter in England. Reluctant to believe that hostilities will last more than a handful of weeks, she stays behind. As the city falls under the siege and everything they loved is laid to waste, black ashes floating over the rooftops, Zora and her friends are forced to rebuild themselves over and over. Inspired by real-life events of the longest siege in modern warf warfare over 30 years ago, Black Butterflies is a breathtaking portrait of disintegration, resilience and hope. So yeah, that sounds very good. Um, and I'm looking forward to reading that. Now I do have a copy of that, the, pub the publisher sent that to me. That was one that I struggled to get hold of. Um, I checked Waterstones and a couple of independent bookshops near me and they didn't have it online. Um, and then the publisher got in touch and said, oh, would you like a copy of it? So please. But we'll see <clears throat> how I get on with that. Now, Going forward, that's the only one that I am going to read. So I'm going to finish off reading I'm a Fan, she says, having only read the first page. But I'm going to finish off reading I'm a Fan. I don't think that will take me long at all. Um, and then I will start Black Butterflies. So you might have a little insight into what's happening in my Friday reading vlog on uh, Friday. Probably be starting Black Butterflies. Right, let's have a look and see what people are saying. Thanks so much for joining me, by the way. This has been an absolute joy. Jennifer says Leyline started following um, her on Instagram too. Um, she felt awkward as she didn't like the book. Sharon says I gave up on pod two, took it back to the library the next day. Ellen loved Black Butterflies. Glad more people will read it because of the shortlist. Um, Grumpy Book says I really want to read Black Butterflies, but I can't find it on audiobook. It's my much preferred format as I'm partially sighted. Hopefully one will be released. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, if something's going on a Women's Prize shortlist, you'd think that that would be available via um, audio. I hope so. I hope so for you, Grumpy Books. Kathy says, only just here and I've missed you all. I'll have to go back and watch this from the beginning. Kathy, do. Enjoy it. I have no makeup on at the beginning. And by the end, look, I've got a full face on. Tori says, I haven't read Black Butterflies, but I've heard good things. Ordered on Book Depository, RIP, but not available in the US. Jennifer wants to read Black Butterflies. Shannon says, do the judges decide to choose books to depress readers? I thought I'm a fan was brilliant. That's good. I'm looking forward to getting into what I'm a fan. As I said, we're reading it for my um, uh, Patreon book club. Um... So if any of you read it and really enjoyed it, there's still time to join the Patreon book club if you'd like to. Um, head on over to my, my link, which is below most videos. Not this one, sadly, but below most. Um, and it's it's divided us so far. So I do a sort of initial thoughts where I read the first chapter, which was just over a page. Um, and then a few people underneath have been like, I've loved this. I haven't loved this. Different feelings. So I'm excited to get into it. Um, Charlie says, I love Black Butterflies. I love how it showed how people cope in those extreme circumstances. And um, I own Pod, but I can't find it, which might explain my desire to read it. What's this chap doing? Is he here to do the gardening? Someone right inside my window. Off topic, have you turned my your straightener off? I have. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've turned it off. And you're pleased to know that I think they're here to do something with the roof or something. He's literally there. All right, morning. Um... Yeah, I turn off the, the plugs before I go. Um, I might have to have a gander in Blackwells today for Black Butterflies. I keep forgetting about it, but it sounds like my jam. I do agree with you, Lauren. Not sure if the really large amounts of sexual violence is hard to read. I read 12 of the long list, but have, still have two of the short list to read. Looking forward to Black Butterflies and Trespasses. Oh, Alice, you'll have a lovely time with Trespasses. I really enjoyed Trespasses. Um, Jen Jenny says, about to start. I'm a fan on my commute today. Exciting. Um, and Jenny says, other Jenny. 
got quite a few jellies today. Uh, definitely going to get Marriage Portrait when it comes out in paperback. Lovely. So, just for those who weren't here from the start, the Women's Prize for Fiction 2023 shortlist has been announced and it is Demon Cophead, The Marriage Portrait, Trespasses, Fire Rush, Pod and Black Butterflies. Thank you very, very much for joining me this morning. It's been really, really lovely. I, I wasn't sure I'd be up in time, but I was well up in time. And um, it was really, really nice to have so many of you here to chat with me and discover the shortlist together. So I think that's it. I'm going to wrap everything up. And um, I haven't got a video prepared for tomorrow. I need to think about a video that I need to film tomorrow to put up because I haven't got anything prepared for tomorrow. If this was on a Thursday, I wouldn't have had to prepare a video for tomorrow. But here we are um yeah hope you all have a lovely day if you're in the middle of the night good night go to sleep um and i'll see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye